Over at WhaleSync, we use Airtable extensively for a bunch of different things, but one thing that people don't really realize about Airtable is that it can act as a super powerful CMS. So WhaleSync uses Airtable as basically the backend for its entire website. So if you look at, just to call it a couple examples here, our testimonials page, which is full of, I think it's 167 testimonials. All of this is stored in our Airtable CMS. Same thing if we go over to, let's take a look at our product, right? Each of our integrations, what we call connectors, same idea. We store this in a CMS, right? And Airtable is really, really great at that because it can basically store as much data as we want and become editable and collaborable, or I don't even know if that's a word. It can become editable and something that the whole team can collaborate on. Um, and so we really love it. And so just to kind of show this in action, let's go back to testimonials just for a sec. So you can see, right, each one of these squares, each one of these testimonials is simply a row in this Airtable CMS. And again, if I was gonna make like five of these in my website builder, um, no big deal, probably wouldn't even need to bother with Airtable, but because this is large enough, it has a bunch of different fields, it's got things like photos and URLs, it is so much easier for us to just manage it here. And more importantly, I can do things like literally set up an Airtable form uh, that collects these testimonials and automatically just populates them. So I can just automate the whole process or at the very least give it to someone on my team that you know is managing this as opposed to us being sort of a you know one man uh, job. So we love it on the testimonials page. Um, another one like we just talked about would be connectors. So if we pull that one up here, um, what's really key about connectors for us is that we can manage things like the status and whether or not something shows up. So if we go over again to our connectors or integrations page here, right? Um, whether or not these connectors are live or coming soon, right? That's something that we're kind of updating uh, pretty frequently, uh, right? And so having to have someone remember that, go into our website builder and update that one by one, annoying, slow, error prone, Instead, it's all just right here, right? It's in this Airtable CMS. Um, I can set up views on top of that to say, hey, like only show me the ones that are not live. Um, but for the most part, honestly, even just this straight up grid view is really nice for us um, and includes kind of these images. So I can quickly scan through all of that there. Even nicer, um, honestly, might even be the open graph image aspect of this. So if I click into one of these, right, this open graph image is what will show if someone were to, let's just say like take this page right here and grab this uh, link, right? Um, and share it in like Slack or in a text. Uh, we used to just not update all these uh, image templates and it would come in uh, not looking nearly as nice. Uh, but because we have Airtable as our CMS, we can keep track of this. If I'm missing one, it's really obvious um, that it's just not filled out. Um, and that's been really helpful for us. The other bit here that uh, really, really makes things smooth is the linked record aspect of Airtable. So each of these integrations has a category, right? So like take CRM, for example. Um, I can filter for just the CRM integrations that WhaleSync has uh, because we've categorized these, right? Or another one would be like database, let's do that, right? Here are the databases that, that we support. Um, in a normal CMS, you would have to just like keep track of this manually um, in, a, in a website builder. Certainly that's how, how it would go. Um, instead here, what I can do is create a table called connector categories that keeps track of um, the ones that we want to offer and then just link it, right? Using Airtable's linked records. That's like the most powerful thing that Airtable offers. And so again, on this side of it, it's really obvious which of these connectors, which of these integrations has a category. Um, it's also really obvious on the other side, I can take a look and just see at a glance how many finance connectors or no connectors we have. And if I'm missing one, right, it just doesn't fall through the cracks with an Airtable CMS because it's just so obvious. I can see all of the data in this really nice uh, spreadsheet view. Now, one more uh, bit that I wanted to call out that is pretty sweet um, is our partner page. And you're gonna start to see a pattern here, um, but let's go ahead and pull that up as well. If we go to um, partners on our website, right? Um, we have a list of certified partners that help people set up WhaleSync, and each of these has their own dedicated page, right? Um, managing all of this uh, usually takes like an actual uh, third party app, right? There are literally um, companies that are doing pretty well uh, that let you set up a partner directory uh, because this can become such a pain in the ass 
doing this in a normal website builder. Um, but with uh, Airtable as our CMS, again, it just is a spreadsheet, right? It's like literally right here. Um, we've got the name of our partners, their, their emails, right? Um, how to contact them, all the same info that is shown on our site. Um, but now it's just, again, in editable spreadsheet form. And what we've again done here is we have an applications tab. So as uh, people apply to our partner program, it just comes into our CMS, which is really sweet. We can review it. And then when it's ready to go, just update it, right? So we use Webflow as our front end builder. We can take it from draft, move it to active and say, okay, this is, let's even just do this right here, active. And in like a minute or so, this will pop up on our actual website. We'll have another partner and they'll be there. All super easy to manage. Um, one other bonus, maybe I'll just throw in here in terms of uh, how we use all of this uh, internally. Again, there are a bunch of other examples, like literally uh, FAQs, um, sync pages, right? We have like a, a basically a programmatic SEO combo page going on here um, as well. But maybe one other uh, just to call out is we also use it to just keep track of our blog posts. So Airtable, the one limitation of Airtable, right? Not an amazing spot to write um, all of your blog content, but it is really good to manage a content calendar, right? And so we'll keep track of the blog posts that we send and make sure that we are publishing them on the right date. We can, you know, obviously link it and, you know, add images, right? Um, Airtable does all of that really well. Um, but that's really sweet. And so again, if we come back over to, let's say, uh, where is this resources and our blog posts, right? Uh, this one, we just saw that in Airtable um, is all managed in an easy to use CMS. So the way that we get all of this to work, right? Like Airtable doesn't out of the box, just start as a CMS, um, is we sync it using WhaleSync, our own tool with Webflow, which is a website builder, right? So let me go ahead and pull that into view so you can see a look at how this is all working on the back end. So this is our website builder Webflow, right? And if we go over to the CMS here that Webflow has, uh, it has all of the same tables uh, or what they call collections as what I just showed, right? So if we open up blog posts here, it's got 111 items. It's gonna be the same ones that we've got in this Airtable blog post list, right? Um, and so what, what WhaleSync does, or our tool really, is it goes, it goes ahead and syncs those two things. So this is literally our, our sync, Webflow and Airtable. We can open that up and all of the tables that you just saw in Airtable are syncing with the tables in Webflow, right? Um, and if you click into any of them, let's take blog posts as, as an example, all of the fields are syncing as well. And you'll notice it's two-way synced, so I can still use Webflow as my CMS if I want to for whatever odd occasion that would, would be. But Airtable basically just acts as, as my CMS going forward, right? Um, and it unlocks all these really powerful things. Now, the last thing that I'll, I'll maybe touch on that we haven't utilized yet, but is just so exciting that I wanted to share here, is when you use Airtable as a CMS, you can start to take advantage of Airtable's AI functionality, right? And bring that to your website builder. So let's do Airtable AI here. And let's literally do generate text, uh, start from scratch, and maybe we say like, write a summary of the blog post and we'll link it to this one, right? Um, and go ahead and create that, right? And let's maybe just run that once so we can see what that comes out to. Now, uh, again, we haven't set this up yet in production, but something we're about to do in a bit, which is basically I can write blog posts and have AI summaries, right? Um, so maybe at the top of each one of these blog posts, I just write like a little TLDR, you know? Um, my website builder doesn't have that functionality yet. Maybe it will one day, but for now it doesn't. Um, Airtable does, and as a CMS, I get to utilize that, right? Which is super, super powerful. So that is a lightning overview of why we use Airtable as our CMS at WhaleSync and just how kind of expansive and powerful it's been for us. Uh, so if you wanna check that out, let us know. I'm happy to share more about what we've been doing. But yeah, summary, Airtable equals awesome CMS.